Now, let Here me we go. let me preface this. We are cooking with gas. By... <laughs> it's such a dad thing to say. This is that. Okay, I'm gonna. So I just want to get my whiteboard and start writing it down because it's it's a weird whiteboard entry. Not a player. And I'm going. We're, with, we're all for this. I'm going with we an had, acronym. We had a couple of clubs. An acronym. Had a couple of clubs last year. S W C. Should we not mix up with something in the Formula One world? What do you think? Any guesses? The first letter is a club. Something West Coast? No. Sydney West Coast? No. Saints War Chest. Oh. <laughs> now, the War Chest. It has come to my attention <laughs> that St Kilda has been telling a number of clubs and play managers that they have potentially the most money to spend that any club has ever had in the, com- Kilda. In the coming two years. Wow. So I decided to do a little bit of work on their list, firstly, and then secondly, who they're targeting. Because I'm told it's two players this year. So you're telling me they have more money to spend than Hawthorne? And I'm just telling you what they're telling people. Right. That's all I can do. So I had a look, Mitch, and I'm keen to get your just you know questions without notice, your thoughts, because you look at this pretty closely. The Saints aren't paying a lot of money to a lot of players. So just off the top of your head, you think, okay, who, who are the Saints paying big money to? Jack Steele, captain. Yep. So Jack Steele's on between 825 and 875 grand a year. Max King. Max King's on less than 900 grand a year. And will obviously be worth substantially more than that if he yeah, keeps on his... That's f- less than 900 at the moment's fair. Probably, but yeah. Like I wouldn't have been surprised if he was on 15% more than that. Rowan Marshall. Yep. Also $100 million. And the, uh, other, the other one's Brad Hill. Yep. Who's out at uh, the end of this year and that that back-ended deal was worth over $900,000 Yep. A year. Um, and that he will re-sign on significantly less than that. Mm-hmm. You know, potentially just a bit over half. And then you've got, you know, Caulfield left at the end of last year. He wasn't on big money, but he was on enough. Billings was on decent cash, as we, we talked about, I think, the last episode of la- last year. So all of a sudden... Gresham was on more and, than and 700. And Gresham was on over, over 700. So he was the other one. So they're the, they're the three that, that have left. And one other name is Dougal Howard, who yep. was thrown around last year because I think what happened was those guys came in and saw he was on probably overs what he was producing yep. because they paid overs to get him from Port Adelaide but he comes out at the end, end of this year too when the new CBA comes in in yep. 2025 or the end of 25 yep the, the cap's going up by 30% yep and so suddenly all there's going to be an influx of cash but what the Saints are thinking is well we, we want to get in early we want to get in before Tassie start to poach players but at the same time they desperately want to keep hold of their first round pick a lot of clubs now want to keep hold of their first picks, particularly if they're potentially top 10 picks mm-hmm. um, because they know that there's only got probably got another couple of years of that and then Tassie will be given a lot of those early picks. So, okay, who is out of contract? Who is a free agent that they can go through? They want midfielders. Ross Lyon is desperate to get more grunt around the midfield. Makes complete sense, right? After a fair bit of digging, I've arrived at the two names and it's been confirmed to me by multiple sources, that these are the two names on the St. Kilda whiteboard. Oof. You ready? Yep. Hugh McCluggage, Luke Davies, Uniac. Ooh. Now, let Here me... Here we go. Let me preface this. We by, are cooking with gas. By, <laughs> such a dad thing to say. Who says that? <laughs> Who says that anymore? Um, Scotty's a big on it. Scotty, Scotty was happy with the energy. Can, can I just... I, I'm not trying to downplay my own story here. I think it's going to be very difficult for the Saints to get either of those players, and I'll explain why in a second. But I think what they're doing is, and and Gubby and Sauce are masters at this, and they have been since they were at GWS, and that is, if you're not coming to us, we're going to make you pay shitloads over to keep them. And that helps them in the market, particularly where the Saints are right now. And we know Ross Lyon, who is such an influential figure at St. Kilda, will, will be wrist deep in this sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Hugh McCluggage... Star player comes out of contract as a free agent. Interestingly enough, despite the fact that he's a super that he's deemed as a superstar by many, never been All Australian, never won a best and fairest. Mm. He's been in the squad a couple of times and probably stiff not to make it at least once. Yep. On a, as on, you say, hasn't happened. On around eight hundred thousand dollars a year. Not on stupid money, yep. but he's earning solid money. As recently as a month ago, said on the record that he wants to stay. 
and really loves it up there. Why would he leave? Going to be interesting, however, when a contract with well north of a million dollars a year lobs on his doorstep. Because I think that's what's going to happen with the Saints. $1.2 million was the figure we threw around at the tradies lunch last year, and you scoffed. But the market suggests that is... Is that what happened? Yeah, the, yes. I don't remember that. It was an off-the-record room, so we'll just... Uh, so it's not recorded? <laughs> I deny saying it. <laughs> and then there's Luke Davies Uniac, who is mm. contracted until the end of next year. A very loyal person. He's almost certain not to do anything until midway through next year. He wants to see the, the lie of the land okay. at North Melbourne. Because North's um, been proactive in re-signing these guys well before their time. Yeah, and and so that's what I was sort of leading up to. Like, So obviously, um, McCluggage has got a decision to make fairly soon. Davies Uniac doesn't really need to do anything, but I assume North are already aware of the interest from other clubs, including St Kilda. I just wonder whether they feel their hand will be forced and that then what the advice from his management is, okay, well, you know, do you just wait and see what other offers come mm. or do you want to use it as leverage to cash in now with a long-term deal at North Melbourne? They're the main two. The other one I just want to throw in um, – and not not to um, disregard his ability as a player because I, I really like Ollie Florent, but he's not in the same sentence probably as a Davies Uniac or a, or a McCluggage. Um, Florent out of contract, as we've talked about, I think we talked about it at one. Um, I really like him as a player. I think he's one of those players who will be really good in a good team. He's free agent. A highly skilled free agent, Bayside boy from Brighton that the Saints love Brighton boys have had cracks at him before he said no he grew up around around the corner from Moorabbin I think and sorry I'll, I'll scratch that I know that the Saints will come knocking again um, and and that's just complicated by as we've talked about on this show um, this year the Swans have got a lot of business to do they've got to race on Goulden they've mm. got to race on Haywood they've got to race on McDonald um, there's a few other bits and pieces around them where I know you've been talked about you've talked about the Swans quite a bit so it's just does a Florent end up getting squeezed out because he ends up getting offered 25% more mm. to go play for St Kilda mm. one other name for the Saints please speaking of Bayside players Max Holmes your man I can see he's, he's Mitch's man he's, he's the uh, first one he's the first one alongside now the second entry of Michael Frederick Didn't of Mitch's play, play like a million dollar player last week on the weekend Max Holmes he didn't? No, I didn't, didn't think so. No, I don't think he's necessarily worth that now. I see. Um, they need speed in the midfield. So you spoke about... Is he, is he fast? Max Holmes? Yeah. Are you, like, taking the piss? <laughs> I just wanted to see what your reaction was. <laughs> I, so I, I, so I'd never know where to go here. <laughs> it's so easy to rattle you. Don't... You can't be. You can take the piss out of the whiteboard guys, but not the Mitch's men guys. No, no, I, I, I plan to take the piss out of both. Seb Ross, closer to the end than the start. Mm-hmm. Uh, not regarded for his pace. Just took a pay cut. Okay. Brad Crouch is out for six to eight now as well. He's gone in for knee surgery. And was in the twos before that, anyway. Yeah, and underdone in preseason. Had a few complications around his knee. His days at St Kilda are numbered. Steele's a star, but banged again, up. Yeah, he's banged up, but he's not quick. Um, that's why they're trying to get Filippo through there. That's why you've seen Sinclair go through the midfield a bit more. Mitch Owens, you know, that's why they're trying to roll a few different yep. younger faces through there. Holmes brings midfield speed. He's being used at half back at the moment, but he wants to be a midfielder. He is also a Saints fan growing up, which doesn't hurt. Doesn't always, it's not always the difference maker, but it doesn't hurt in these scenarios. His manager, Tom Seckel of Hemisphere, says he's content with where things sit with Geelong, but it'll be one that picks up in the second half of the season. So, just juicy. Just prefacing that by what you're saying around the first round pick, he's not a free agent. He's going to need to be traded. Mm. And you'd think if if anything was to happen there, it would need to be a first round pick. And if you're saying the Saints want to take that to the draft, then a deal for Max Holmes would be very, very difficult without St Kilda's first round pick. On a serious note, you know that I don't care much about this sort of stuff, but can we just have a little bit of fun with, and, and Scotty, I want you to watch this as well. Over the next seven days... How many times is it going to be reported about St Kilda, War Chest, lots of muddy na- well, names mentioned, Davies Uniac linked? You know, like I just wonder how freely people are now going to talk about this. Well, I like you've already you've already coined it with an acronym, mm. so you've you've you got ahead of the the S- conversation. SWC. 